Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play The Illusion of Gaia. So here we are, about to enter, well, Mew. I just said it did. Listen up. And welcome to a significant step up in difficulty. Mew... Well, we've had various gimmicks that have been hitting us from dungeon to dungeon. This one is water. Specifically, it is water levels. We'll be kind of limited in where we can look around at first. <clears throat> Excuse me. But eventually we will find a way to lower the water level here. And that will open up not only more paths, but it will also open up more enemies that will try to beat on us. Oh yeah, welcome. Sure. We still haven't met that vampire couple that was supposed to be in the other place. Huh. Anyway. Unlike the Seaside Palace, we want to kill everything here. Because, once again, power-ups. Obviously, these are not a problem. But these are not the worst this area has. Meet the first truly annoying enemy. He spits out rocks, you block them with your flute. And you smack him when he moves forward. Easy enough, right? Yeah, there will be times when there are a couple of those on screen at once, and you've either got to manage to divide and conquer, or you're going to be soaking up a ton of damage. And our first heal spot is a good ways away. But anyway, you notice that there's a water level here preventing us from going down. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to take care of that. Soonish. not need to take extra damage right now. With a little luck, I can make him just kind of, ah, should not have done that. Like I said, our first heal spot is a ways off, and I'm taking just way too much damage. I don't want to use an herb. Really don't. That little crack you can see right there will become important later. Not right now, but later. We need to keep doing more of that. Eight enemies left in the area. We can't get them all now. We will have to wait until we lower the water level a couple of times. Sometimes you get really lucky with a set like this, and they both make it very easy for you, which is good because we are not in great shape. We're already down to about half hit points. Not a good thing. Fortunately, we've kind of cleared out all the enemies we can in this first area. And there are six different areas here to clear out, which means six different upgrades. Now let's meet the other main enemy, that thing. Luckily, we can block its projectile, as you just saw. Unfortunately, since it 
teleport teleports around like that. I call those things wizards, because, well, they sure look like wizards. And unfortunately, we found a chest. The chest is empty, though. And our first dark space will be off to the left there, but it's kind of submerged right now. The goal will be, for this first video here, the goal is to get to that. Unfortunately, blocking does not help if it hits where you're not blocking. Did you just die already? Thank you. Now these things. You can hit them. You can draw them to you. But if you, if you run into it, it just brings you backwards. Not all that useful up here, but just kind of keep in mind what the thing does. And now we get a hope that I can do this again. Ah, good. Just got through. We really don't want to sit there and have to fight them right now. Would not go well for us. Since we're down to like, you know, four hit points. And let's see, I believe... Yeah, I'm getting there. Just get around them for now. Getting to the heal spot is our number one goal. This is not a heal spot, but it is a fairly important room. The Room of Hope. We can't do anything in there now, but that will become very important, oh, a few minutes from now. Could really use a health up orb. Just saying, game. Thank you. And now, we need to pull that all the way out so we can get by it. And yeah, we don't want to go south there. Pretty sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pretty sure I'm not going to be able to uh, slip by you. But as long as you're all alone, I am not going to complain. Because I can take care of you when you're all alone. Funny. 
and unfortunately that one is also empty. Not much there, huh? Hell. Lily's gonna speak up, just in case you actually did miss that. And I would imagine some of you said, well, why don't you check a certain spot? Because I wanted to bring up this uh, dialogue. It appears that the treasure chest is at the exact spot where the line of vision between both statues cross. Does it mean something? Eh, maybe not. But then again, the game is also good about giving hints like that. So, if you pay attention, you get this dude staring down this line somewhere. It's around there somewhere. Right there. And thus, Statue of Hope acquired. Is there a room with the same name? Eh, if you paid attention, you would know. So let's take the path that's already been cleared out. that out of our way for now and meet the room of hope statue of hope in the room of hope means a whisper gets heard Sun God Rama. The ocean holds a power. Well, that was something, wasn't it? But what did that do for us, you might ask? Lily tells us that there is less water than before. Yes. Basically, we need to find the Statues of Hope. And both of them are hidden much, you know, exactly the same way, where we have to find two statues looking at a certain spot on the ground, and the water level will recede with each one we manage to uh, clear out. To not take any damage from spikes, because now... I do know where I'm going. Yes, I do. Okay. And these things are still here. Ah. Okay, with that I can just slip by you. And you may notice the little super glowy snake that we saw down there. Yeah, those are more invinci- ah. Wizard. Unfortunately, this is going to work against me to keep in here. Come on. Game is having fun at my expense because dark spaces 
very close. Could throw a curveball at me here, like that. I can't just go all out and keep smacking him. And now this. Sprint across. Jump in dark space. Heal up. and get some advice. When we started this journey, Mew began to rise from the sea. It still covers the land in many places. When the water is gone, we will discover the location of Rama, King of Mew. So let's go ahead and save. And continue. Because we can change into Frieden. And while this, we will have to turn back into Will at some point, being Frieden for as much time as possible, with his distance attack and his longer range melee attack, is much preferable. But, that was the goal of this video. <sighs> and it is accomplished, with no death. Thankfully. So, I'm going to take a break. When we return, we continue on with, well, Mew. And trying to find a way to lower the water level even more. But until then, take care everybody. I will see you back next time. Later all.